Today we're going to look at a simple setup of an Azure DevOps pipeline with SQL Server. The pipeline works with a Windocs hosted server using SQL Server containers, clone databases, and Git. The combination delivers isolated environments in seconds and scales up to support up to 50 simultaneous containers on a single VM. Now, I've already registered for the free Azure DevOps lab at Windocs and they've provided me a YAML file that we'll use to set up the lab. So let's switch over to the Azure DevOps account. Here we are on the uh, new uh, Azure DevOps account. I'm going to create a uh, project name. I'm going to make it a private project. And just that quickly, we have a project. Now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go into the preview settings. And I'm going to come down and I'm going to make sure that the YAML pipeline creation is on, which it is. And now I'm going to go to the repos. And I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to add a uh, readme file. That'll initialize my repo. And at this point, I can upload a file. So I'm going to browse to that YAML file that I mentioned earlier. Here's the YAML file. I'm going to commit that. And at this point, you can see we have a pipeline already is present. Now, the next thing to do is to edit the pipeline. OK, I've just uh, updated the uh, YAML. I'll show you the areas updated. There's the host IP address. And you'll see that I've been assigned a username of user2. And I've got credentials that I've updated for both the uh, Windoc server, but also for the SQL server containers. We're going to use the same credentials for both. And you can see it's uh, got a predefined image that we're going to use as well. Got to update SA to user2 as well. So I'm going to save that. And now we have a complete uh, ready to run Azure pipeline. And all I have to do is click on Run. And you can see that the build has already been queued. And that's all there is to uh, setting up a Azure DevOps pipeline with a SQL Server for this lab. Now, uh, visit windocs.com. There's another video where you can see how uh, the lab interacts with the Windocs server. And I uh, suggest that would be your next step. Thank you.